Hi, this is Erin from the St. Louis Science Center Science Off Center team here with another experiment you can do at home. And all you really need for this experiment is tonic water, a rubber glove, and a black light. But I have some other things to help me out. What we're going to do is we're going to freeze tonic water in here to make a centerpiece for a punch bowl. The reason we want to do this is because tonic water has a special ingredient called quinine in it. And quinine can glow under a black light. So we want to fill up our glove and then freeze it, but we want to freeze it without squishing the finger. So everything else I have here we'll be using to, uh, to get that set up. And you might be able to come up with your own way. What I used was the lid from a milkshake, a to-go milkshake, although you could probably use any other plastic ring uh, with a hole in it or something like that. To put over, there you go, to put over the glove like this. Then you'll fill it up with the tonic water. Freezing it this way will give you a nice level base so that the glove can stand on end. once it's all frozen. Next, we want some way to freeze it like this without squishing the fingers. So what I did was I used an oatmeal canister and a couple pencils to set up in between to prop it up. Then you can just lower it in and set it like that and then use some tape to keep it all in place. Then you just have to make room in your freezer for this strange contraption and you'll be ready to go. So once you have your contraption all set up and room in the freezer, you just put it in the freezer very carefully. And then you wait for it to freeze. And it's pretty thick so it'll take a while to freeze, all day or maybe overnight. It should be frozen now. And now we're ready to see what we've made. So once you've gotten your hand out of the freezer, then you have to very carefully get the glove off. Rubber gloves are hard enough to get off of your own hand. Getting them off of a frozen one takes some extra skill. And you can see, I lost a pinky, but I think that'll just look extra gory. So I'm okay with it. Then you'll make sure that it's level enough to stand, and then you can put it in your bowl of punch or juice or whatever you want. There we go. And even though ice floats, it's heavy enough, there's enough standing up that it'll stick out and just look kind of eerie. You can add more if you want so that just fingers are showing, adjust things to how you want. You can see, you can start to see that it will glow under black light. Now if you want an extra treat, you can add dry ice. Dry ice can be found at dry ice suppliers, or if you ask nicely, sometimes grocery stores or ice cream places will give it to you. Now dry ice you have to be careful with. You can't touch it with your bare hands and you definitely don't want to get it in your mouth. But if you use some bigger pieces towards the bottom of your punch bowl, no one should mess with them and it can add a fun effect. So get your punch set up with the black light behind it and you'll be all set for a creepy Halloween. 